Hello everyone and welcome back to Rubble Brick. Today we're going to do a little review. Uh, we have set, as I grab the box here so I can read off the correct number, uh, we have set number 60377, the Explorer's Diving Boat. Um, I always kind of like the boats and all that. I think it's probably because I, you know, for Star Wars and all the space stuff, you know, we, we kind of go into the unknown. So, um, Getting the Explorer's Boat, um, really thought it was kind of neat and interesting. We actually get some new animals, so we get a Stingray. We get a large tortoise, a small tortoise. We get three minifigures, and we have a small build here, and I'm going to push this back just a little bit, and I knock over my diver. So we get a couple fish, a little crab. We have a treasure chest here, and I think I probably put it on, nope, I do have it the correct way. So we have some gold, and we have a golden cup or a chalice in there. So that looks pretty good. Fits pretty good. Uh, I like the colors. These are kind of nice, bright colors and all that stuff. Um, we have a nice pink here with a star on top for whatever that's going to be. I'm guessing that's just being a starfish. Um, it really kind of sticks out. Um, I know some people they'll do like a, a blue light over their underwater stuff so I don't know what this looks like with a blue light on it but um, just being under regular light here this looks pretty good. You know we have a light pink we got a sort of blue I, I, I'm not the best at seeing what all these you know if you want to call it an aqua blue or whatever whatever it is um, but it is kind of interesting uh, nice little build I do kind of like it. Treasure chest. I do have quite a bit of these because years ago I, I used to get some of the uh, the pirate stuff and um, I didn't get a lot of the castles. I kind of missed out on that. I I was in, into doing other things. I spent a lot more time doing picking up uh, minifigure uh, like D and D type figures or whatever for Star Wars and all that stuff at the time. Not realizing I could have been doing this, and then I, I, at this point, I'm starting to think that I should get rid of all that stuff and just stay with the, the Lego stuff because I have enough little armies and all that. Um, but we have gold and, and, and a cup in there, and that looks pretty good. Uh, we have another gold piece that they wanted there for the build. This kind of sits right here, so that looks pretty good. When we look at the boat itself. We actually have a little crane back here so we can move this around so we can pick up our, our underwater drone. We can actually unhook it here. It's just a regular chain. So our drone looks pretty good. We have the little propeller in the back. The boat being a little speed boat. We actually have two propellers. These are kind of hinged so you can bring them up if you need to service them. You know, whatever kind of play stuff you want to do. We have a little first aid kit with uh, like a syringe or something like that to make sure people are nice and healthy. Um, we have an extra diver and I do have extra diving helmets and I'm trying to remember where I put it. Um, oh, actually their stuff is in here. So I put two different sets together last night. Um, stayed up a little later than I should have but we have a, a uh, chest in here, and I'll, I'll bring that out here in a minute. This opens up so we can see into the cockpit, and right behind the cockpit is our chest, and I'll bring that out. Um, our young lady here, and I believe she's got some stuff. She's got, um, no, I guess I only have one helmet. I do only have one helmet. Okay. I'm trying to remember this. I'm the one that put it together last night, too. You can't say that my daughter put it together and I'm just kind of going off of her. No, it was me. All right, so I kind of pushed this in here and now I'm trying to get it out. Um, I don't know if they actually meant this to come out and my fingers are just kind of hitting the wrong spots here. Fat fingers, fat fingers. Uh oh, now I'm breaking it. Now I'm breaking it all the way. Oh my God. All right, because I put that back on there. And as I put that back on there, you notice we have a couple searchlights here, and we also have a searchlight on the bow. I'll move our little animals out of the way so I don't run anything over. 
especially a little turtle. So as I dump this out, we have a camera, we have an extra diving mask, extra set of flippers, and oxygen tank. So the gentleman in the back was the one that was supposed to be doing the diving. The young lady here, which if you wanted her to do the diving as well, you could probably have her do the diving, but she actually had the life preserver on. She's the captain of the boat. Um, I did not have any stickers. So all of this stuff was already pre-printed on, which is kind of nice. So I didn't have to put any stickers on here. That's really kind of neat. Um, I don't know how well we can look in here. I'll kind of pop this off and then I knock off the front. So I'll have to put that back on here. All right. Trying to get in here so you can see here. So we do have like um, some gauges there. And like I said, that's not a sticker. So it is a small boat. Um, I have some other boats here. Uh, ones that you've seen in some of my other silliness. Uh, the other two that I actually have here, one is is from a couple years ago that I put together this year because I finally had a need for it and I needed it together because we had old Kelvin here trying to get his, his forklift back and I wanted it on a boat and just being silly. Trying to get all this stuff in here. Alright, I was kind of pushed in. Alright. Put her back in her boat so that way she can pilot the boat. Trying to get this in here. Okay. Oh, come on, you. There we are. And I'll put this gentleman in the, in the back. That way he can kind of take care of the crane. Alright, now he's back there. I'm going to move this off to the side here. Get these out of the way. There. So I'm going to bring the other boats. So we've got this boat. Now, this was the fire boat that uh, I used a little while ago. So you can see in, in relation, this is that smaller... This is a floatable shell, but it is that smaller, um, smaller size or whatever. This one as well is a floatable shell as I knock over my cannon. That wasn't originally on there, but that's what I made it as. So this one as well is a floatable boat. So we get to see that, you know, the size difference here. And then for my big cargo ship. Now this cargo ship originally had a little extra stuff in the back because this was actually meant for the Jurassic World domination. Um, but I just, I took this stuff out and I made it a cargo ship. So... I could throw a container in there or whatever. And in our comic, I had uh, our forklift Betty with a container up here, and then Kelvin came out. So that worked out pretty good for that. Um, but you, know, you can see the size difference. Not the biggest. It is uh, about $40. So when you're looking at it, I mean, we do have a nice little underwater drone. We get three minifigures, which is kind of nice. Um, and we get some extra animals. Um, always kind of nice getting the extra animals. Um, actually, I missed one. I missed one. Because we get a hammerhead. I did. I can't believe I, I, I forgot to say that. Um, so getting the extra animals is always kind of neat. Always kind of fun. Uh, I know I do have quite a few sharks from some of the pirate series and all that stuff. They always throw the sh sharks out there, so... Um, but I think this works out pretty good. It is a smaller boat, um, but it is, you know, for the set and everything else, and we have the extra build for underwater, I think that works all right. Um, as, as far as the exploration, I don't know where I'm going to fit this in here. Again, I'm, I'm kind of running out of room. I think I'm going to add on to my, uh, my table, and once I do that and I start really getting it to look good, we got to start showing this to you guys. Um, because I don't, I don't have a, a marina at the at the moment. I did have a marina, so I was kind of getting some extra boats. But the setup that I had for the marina kind of went south when I had a TV that was there, and that's why I had the marina there. Um, that way, when my 
daughter would watch TV or if I was downstairs and I used to play some video games down here, uh, I could play video games and I didn't have the Lego stuff right in the way. It wasn't a very big TV, but it was a, still having a TV down here. Um, but uh, I took that out, so now we don't have that. I get a, I do have a train track going all the way around. It is kind of rough, but we got to get it going. We, I got to spend some more time on that. So when I get the time in between doing work and and all the other household stuff that I get to get done. So, all right. With that being said, thank you for watching today. I do appreciate you coming and visiting. I hope you have a great day, and keep working.